Okay, so this is Yusu Early Access 1883. And so far, there's a big difference between the main Yusu that we actually use and the Early Access. This one, when I open it, it was already creating different shaders instead of using the shaders I already have for this game. Then it stayed around building around 67 shaders while I was playing and every time I do something that's like it will build a shader or something instead it builds more than just one. I can run better on the grass on the wild area. This will actually mostly give me around 15 to 17 frames per second. Now it's not doing that. And if we can see it here, I'm gonna move the camera, it's not lowering the frame rates, it's actually raising them. And you can see all the Pokemon, it's not affecting me at all. Go back to the grass. Everything seems fine here. go here to see how it how it behaves in a city faster load also very built still building way more it's built 208 Okay, 200 plus shaders, and it's running at 19 and 20. Here, I will have a very horrible frame rate. It was around 10 to 15 or less. I know it was very difficult to find everything because of how slow I was. See inside a Pokemon Center. Find a Pokemon Center, also building shaders, and I'm running at 30 frames per second. Now let's see in a route. So let's just go. That was very quick. We have a 30 frames per second here, actually. This didn't have 30. This actually had 25, around 20 to 25. And now it has a 30, 29 and 30. Look at the Pokemon. I couldn't see anything like this. It was just playable for me, but it was not 30 at all. It was more like uh, 20 to 21 in this exact area. Let's go with that six again. My shares are being filled. Try a different move this time. Yeah, I built some cheaters there. is on 30 only lower is if it's filled in shader but it's not very noticeable so I'll say it's running extremely well on this version totally I will recommend if you have a low low specs computer to use early access because I was just using the normal Yuzu and I thought I was having decent frame rates but this is way better I totally recommend it my settings are still the same I kept everything as should be we can see here that we 
left cutting, 100%, limit speed percentage, multi-core CPU emulation, confirm as a while, emulating is running. Um, I think here, service is none. This is kept the same. Accuracy is set on auto now. My accuracy in the other one was set to high and I know there was something different here that we had to put on save and then mark all these because now that's not there anymore it's just auto on graphics it read OpenGL and shader back and glams NVIDIA only my NVIDIA car is not called glams it's called NVIDIA GT710 but apparently this is what we have to choose if we have NVIDIA I didn't, I just opened the emulator and it shows it for me. Here it's the same and this looks exactly the same. Then in advance, this is the same. We have marked B, C, missing because we were seeing OpenGL, accuracy levels, normal. Use fast GPU time is marked. And the subtrophic filtering, default and this is not marked audio enable auto stretching i have this enabled but there's people that do get better frame rates when they take this off so do what you need there auto and auto and 100 percent controls well i'm using handheld and we go here close it we can see that i this is what it says now, OpenGL, GPU normal, dock, and I do not have it on dock, this is grayed out, GPU normal is there, and OpenGL is what I'm using. And still while I was talking and everything, I opened the menu, some people get horrible frame rates when they open the menu for the settings, no, mine is still 30 and 29, so the game is running perfectly fine.